here we go. Oh, there's some swing already. Good atmosphere. Welcome, Arun Lal. Thanks, Dino, and a very good morning to you and all our viewers. That is a good start on the seam and a little away. Now, this has been a brave move by the Indians. The first one hour is going to be crucial because they won the toss and inserted Pakistan. They need to make use of the overhead conditions which are slightly overcast and a little bit of moist freshness on the surface. God, he must have had his heart in his mouth for a moment. But aren't they ecstatic? They got rid of Salman Bhatt for not Pakistan are one for none. Outside edge and drops. Okay, if it's dropped, it was flying and it's... Oh, good piece of work there there to save too, but oh, they put the third slip in. Good captaincy, and unfortunately, Muhammad Kaif drops one. Oh, this is, well, one of those things. We've got a good fielder in there. He just didn't get up quite quickly enough. Took him by surprise, but really, that should have been pouched. That was to be taken. Third slip is there for this drive away from the body. Srishant got him to edge, just wasn't up quickly enough. Magnificent shot. Cameron Ekmal. Yes, that is a good shot. Ifan Patan striving for a swing from outside the odd stump. Just over pitching. But the good thing about this was he didn't try and open it. Just leant into it and sort of just eased it past mid on. So he, mid off, I beg your pardon. Got a lot of work on that shot. Beautifully timed. Shows you how good a pitch it was too on the up. Pull shot, or you'll get at least a couple. One bounce over. I didn't think he got much of that really. I thought it was only full 20 metres in front of the ropes, but it's carried a long way. So Pakistan are on the attack. Short ball after that drive. He was waiting for it. Let it do its thing, bend into him, and they just eased it on its way. Snow fielder there, so he was safe as long as he got it. Outside edge, they dropped it. Wow, what's happened there? He can't believe it, the skip. Nor can I. That took an eternity to reach him. This is got to be the simplest slip catch in recent memory it sort of dipped on him it did, wasn't quite reaching him and then he just pounded down his fingers were facing downwards now take a look the outside regulation catch that should have been taken oh my god looking for two he puts in the first one the interesting one for me the part of that was Cameron Akbar luckily didn't jump off the ground when he threw the ball because if it hit the stumps and he was actually in the air he might have been in a bit of trouble we've seen that happen before just have a look here outside edge the ball starting to dip 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 on him and it's hit him and if he he's picked it up and he throws it in and luckily Cameron Akbar didn't jump in the air but anyway, he should have taken the cash. That's that's maybe living with himself. Pull shot. Four. Don't bow short to him. He will go after you. Get the fine leg up. Keep the square leg back for him. You've got to do that. But the Indians have really let the Pakistanis slip through their net.
big hit. This might be out. It's high. They're getting underneath it. Kaif, he's got it. Big wicket. Big wicket. He dropped him earlier, and now he's got him. Afridi's gone. Well, I'll take you through the wicket here. I just can't believe he's gone for a big one. Big outside edge, and he can't believe he's thrown it high up in the air. It's gone forever. The thing's got cheese on it, and he's taken it easily. So, Muhammad Kaif, he's, he knew he made a mistake earlier, but by G, another big wicket there for India. Shahid Afridi's gone for 19, and now Pakistan 39 for two. helping the ball to swing just a little bit in the early overs. Another upper drive, another four. It whistled away to the boundary in no time. Now this really is good batting from Shwab Malik. Stunning shot. Touch of arrogance about it, but you need that kind of arrogance to succeed at this level. He is in good form, and what a shot! Finds the sweetest spot on the bat. Nobody moved. India still not interested in having a shot cover in for Shweb Malik. Or for that matter, a shot mid wicket for him because in these two zones, he at times puts one in the air. Gotham Gambier tried hard. Another one goes down, 55 for two. Narki Singh uh, starts with a half tracker. And he shouldn't be surprised that that was dealt with severely by Kamran Nakhal because the youngster is in such good form. The last thing you want when you start a spell is being hit for a boundary and starting with a poor delivery as well. That puts him straight away on a defensive mindset, RP Singh. Not too many players will miss out. They ball balls like that. That smash hard now. This is his business zone, Kamran Akmal. He thrives in this area. Suresh Rana felt the hit on his hand. Stinging blow. Well, there were three men in that area, and Suresh Rana it was. Technically, a lot of people might call that a chance, but it was hit so hard, and it's traveling so quickly. Only somebody as good as Suresh Rana could get a finger to that. Yes, he was coming in to stop uh, a single. Another wide one from R.P. Singh. He needs a bit of support out there. I think Rahul Javed is uh, walking up to the youngster. He's trying to calm his nerves. Don't over try, just trying to get it right in that area of Oxter. Well, it's a Mini India in some parts of this ground. Plenty of uh, people have come across the border to watch this tie. That could be out. It is. Again, the batsman looking to play towards the onside and the leading edge taken. RP Singh truly has come back in this over. Adjusted the length. Nicely there by R.P. Singh. Wasn't really the ball to get a wicket, but uh, lucky there. Kamran Nagman, bit too eager. Goes the face of the bat, bit too early. Leading edge. No problem there for a mid-on fielder. Mid-off fielder Irfan Patan there. And another big blow to the Pakistanis. Kamran Akmal goes for 34. Pakistan 75 for 3.
that's Mohamed Youssef off the map. And that's the 7,000 run that he has scored. Of course, as I said before, not all for Pakistan. One of the top players Pakistan has produced in the last uh, decade or so. 210 one days, 7,000 runs. Good average. 40 plus is uh, always a good average in, uh, in a one day cricket. He's batted on uh, most of the occasions, most of the numbers, starting from number three to six. They have lost three wickets, Pakistan, and they will have to consider themselves very lucky to have only lost three wickets. Going at 4.96 runs per over, so they are still going at a pretty good rate with their scoring. Just about held on for the first wicket. Just simple. Too good a delivery for Salman. But he's always struggled with this sort of delivery. He was not really quick on top of the delivery. And uh, almost uh, spilled that one. He dropped uh, later on. But uh, that one, he just held on to it. it seemed like uh, the Indians uh, had a sore hand this morning. kept going instead of swinging back in what a huge wicket here that one didn't really come back the last couple of deliveries just came back a little bit of this one just went through with the arm and uh, a big wicket India on a roll four down Muhammad Yusuf could only finish his 7,000 here. One gone for one, 82 for four. Eighty-two for four in just a 17th over. But they have a fantastic batsman now coming to the crease for them. In Zamam Ulha. What to do? Did he do enough? Yes. Saved two runs. Good work done there by RP Singh. That ball was travelling and was travelling quickly. Guided there. Missed that slip fielder. And great work there, especially when you bowling. It's not easy. Dived it. Saved a couple of runs there. bit of fielding but in the man hat was just jogging through she sat the man there at mid on coming back to in the mamal hat's uh, batting order the way he bats he started as an opener for pakistan and he scored 516 runs as you can see here but number four i think that's his best position he scored more than 5,000 runs at that position Number six, not very successful. That's wide. That's a bit too wide. Pitched wide and went further away. Adatlaka doesn't like it, but... Average 27.50, batting at number six. Doesn't really give him much time to bat the overs out. Is at that occasion mostly Pakistan in a good position or in a big hole. This is the only time when you've got uh, 30 odd overs to bat on. Easy single. That's the problem. If Inzaman Hak is batting at number six or any batsman, any of your better batsmen, if you have one of your best batsmen coming at number six. He's either coming in with a few overs left because your team has done well and he hasn't got a great deal of 
overs to face to get an opportunity of getting a big score. Or he's coming in with the team in trouble because they have lost four wickets in no time. I don't think an orthodox batsman like Insman who's actually batting at six or seven. You need these guys who are willing to hit over the top, Ashida Freedy, Mahindra Dhoni, Abdul Raza, that sort of a player is what you, you need coming in at six and seven. Who will just slog away, hit all over the park in the last few overs. Come back to the single again. Power plays over. 20 overs bold, 9 to 5 for 4. Harbishan is on. The 12th, well, not the 13th man for Agaka, who's got some problem with him. Drop kick on the onside, and only get one for it. Let's have a look at this um, Indian lineup here, Shiva. Been a few changes. In, in comes RP Singh and got some Gambia for power and Siwag. And Siwag particularly is out injured. Doesn't look like he's likely to, to play for the rest of this Hutch Cup. Zahi Khan goes into the super sub. Oh, in the air again. A bit of a problem there on that line there. Well, if Agaka can't bowl anymore, he's still got another four overs left, so Zahi Khan can slip in there and bowl those four overs. Only the four overs. We'll just have to wait and see what's wrong with uh, Ajit Agaka. But... Two shot for one. He can, for a super sub, he's replacing a player. So the player in this case, just say it was Ajit Agaka. So he can't comes in as a super sub. He can only bowl the four overs that's remaining. He can't bowl. He's bowled his four overs, bowl six overs to someone else. He has to only bowl the number of uh, ten overs left for that player. So that explains it pretty much. And of course, Ajit Agaka can't cannot bat. Zahi Khan would be able to bat. So that comes down to the captain's choice. But he's only gone off the ground for injury yet. No super sub has been made. There you go. Finally, we've got a boundary. Pakistan. The skipper starts to throw a couple of punches. Enzimam's first boundary. Has the crowd on their feet. He's played himself in. He's been a little watchful. Marginally short in length, but not too much of width provided by Ritu Pratap Singh. But Gunzi is too good a player. This is exactly what the Indians don't want. The Pakistanis would love plenty of these. Well, the mistakes he's made, RP Singh, is the fact that he's bowled too short today, you feel, Shiva? I think his first tour was uh, something that one can forget and after that had a little bit of success. No, I think extended spell, he's into his seventh over. And having bowled to Inzi, I think the pressure is telling on the young man. Yeah, but it's good to have some experienced players mid on, mid off, so it just shows you that he's bowled all over the place a little bit. It's a better line in length. Inzi can't hit that. End of the over, 119 for four. difference I see uh, Wakar in this Pakistan team if you compare uh, the stats with uh, Australia is that they've used up their firepower their energetic big oh, it's taken and gone in Zamanulak will walk it's Sachin Tendulkar who has given India a lot of boost with that prize scalp of in Zamanulak well the golden arm did the trick Gentle outswinger there in Zamaul Haq looking to guard that to the third man. 
once again a little fumble there but taken huge wicket for the Indians and look at that Sachin knows the importance of this wicket captain goes Pakistan's fifth wicket down and Zaman Malhak gone for 16 1 2 8 for 5 release pressure of Pakistan they picked up the huge huge wicket off in Zaman Malhak now Yunus Khan the vice captain walks in five wickets down there will be a lot of pressure on him on 49 Shweb Malik 50 for Shweb Malik his third of the series hat trick of 50s and he's emerged as a leading scorer for Pakistan. Smart player, very, very good one-day player. Whenever he's been asked to bat, wherever he's been asked to bat, whatever number, he's always uh, come up good. Very good inning, very good little inning. He's been uh, there when uh, some of the batsmen's been bowled out on the other end. He kept his nerve cool. Face 73 deliveries for his 50. Could not. Pakistan need this 50 to be turned into 100. He's got a couple of 90s in the last two test one days. Late swing from Sachin Tendulkar. He pulls at that irritating pace. It can sort of bore you to death. You are an attacking batsman. Look at that track record. Very impressive. Well, normally, we've seen uh, Sachin Tadulkar bowling his off spinners or his uh, leggies. And uh, have a look at this uh, Malik's uh, wagon wheel. He's been uh, played mainly on both sides of the wicket, mainly to the offside. Oh! Played it fine, Yunus Khan. We get a four, even though this outfield is not as quick as uh, it was during the test match. But still, that ball went away to the boundary very quickly. Oh, starts over with a real wide one. Tony struggled really to get it under control. That should exactly have been a double wide worker. Well, he struggled. He struggled early on uh, with the short deliveries. When you don't really play for a long time. This is what happens, talking as a fast bowler. And if you not lose, this can happen. And this was a poor delivery. India needs to control these extras. They need a wicket also. They, if they get a wicket here, Pakistan will be in a deep trouble. Not a lot of protection for RP Singh on that leg side, and Shreb Malik has carved one away in that huge gap that was available to him. Well, he's got a couple of wickets, RP Singh, and he has bought some rubbish also. This was a real poor delivery. The ball was bold, it was four written on it. And Shreb Malik took full advantage of that big gap. Exploited it nicely. That's a lot better because he's got a very strong offside feel, RP Singh, because of that angle that he creates with his uh, left arm medium pace. All India need to do is to play tight cricket here, not look for wickets, uh, Wakar, but just try to squeeze the, the breath out of this partnership. I think that's what's required now. You bowl a couple of maidens, I'm not saying not maiden, maybe, maybe. That's four. That is four. That's a good delivery. No slip there. And went quickly to the boundary. It also gives Pakistan's a 150, 153 for five. And 
And Yunus Khan can now smile brightly because there's no slip in place. Had there been one, surely would have uh, been walking back to the pavilion. Edge and gone. Dhoni takes a neat catch. Arpi Singh strikes again. What a game he's having. It's Yunus Khan who goes back to the pavilion. In for batsman. Once again picked up early by India. A little bit of an extra kick from the pitch. He banged that one in. It was a little too close to Yunus Khan. And looking to guide it to the third man. Another one gone. Pakistan 158 for 6. Yunus Khan gone for 16. Pakistan 158 for 6. They've lost the big one, Yunus Khan. Caught behind of RP Singh. Now Abdul Razak has got loads and loads of work to do. No ball. Not the way to start. Well, there's six no balls and seven wide, so they've been a little indisciplined in that regard. 13 extra deliveries that they have already bowled. Really got to put a lid on those. We'll get more than a single here. He's got a 6-3 field, 6 on the offside, just 3 on the on, there's no mid-wicket. He can hardly be getting the ball to bend in or come in to the right-handers. Now he's suddenly getting a mid-wicket in position because maybe he's trying to start the ball from around middle and off and try to get it to swing away. It hasn't swung for him. That's 4. Well, that's the problem. The youngster got a lot of movement in the beginning in his six overs. None for 37. Should have had three, though. Three drop chances. But now it's not moving. It's an older ball. He's a little bit tired as well. There was no excuse for that one. It was outside leg stump. That was a terrible delivery. a better line it has to start just outside the line of all stump the ball isn't doing as much now as it was earlier on just let's take a look at his delivery what happens to his wrist on delivery the impression that he so just Letting the fingers fall over on the left of the ball. So the ball is coming in rather than going away. Let's take a look again. A closer look. Not really. It did come in. Has gone, picked it up very well, slow delivery, but he saw it and dispatched it. Well, that was a slow delivery, which was very slow, it was almost like a flighted delivery. And uh, it really went, his ball from behind the hand, the leg break, but look at that. Wow, beautifully hit. So, he adds a six to his tally now. Seven fours and one six, Shor Malik. A slow delivery is a good delivery to have, but you have got to make sure that you disguise it a bit better than Sri Sant. It was almost as if he was running in and saying, here's the leg break. Just a nice loop right in the arc. Bang. 
first six of the innings. Leading edge all found the gap. Well, Srishan must be asking what else he has to do to get a wicket. Three catches went down at the leading edge. Just evading those very good fielders, I might add, Rana and Kef. The outside edge and fortunate for Shoaib Malik again. No man's land. If Pakistan bat the last 10 overs, I'm certain they're going to get beyond 50 runs. So they need a wicket, the Indians, from their perspective. If they can get about 60, 70 runs, 270 would require some chasing. Pakistan would definitely be in the hunt if they get about 270. Task easier said than done, but it's possible. 200 has just come up. Six down. Very dependent on these two, Razak and Malik. Saved just a single. As Zahir Khan must be enjoying this great game cricket, though. He comes into the game, he only has to bowl four overs, and he'll go back inside the dressing room and relax and get a full day's pay. Great game, this. Totally fresh, cannot do that. Really, this is the easiest possible runs on the park. No swing, no movement. Outside leg stump, onto pad line, not too much pace either, just 129 or thereabouts. Can he reach the 100 today? He's missed it twice, 95 and 90. Oh, in the gap again, that's four more. Well, I think they're reading Zahir Khan on past performance. Not a lot of movement bending into the batsman, so this is played on the rise, this is played on trust. It's a good wicket now, mind you. But absolutely nothing in it for Zahir Khan at all. Just the straight line of the delivery. Taken on the rise, that is a very fine shot indeed. Ten from four deliveries for Pakistan. This is the big over that they wanted. Moves into the 90s easily again, Shoaib Malik. Correct time he has gone into the 90s in this series. And a pretty good partnership between these two. Lacks of fortune, will go away for four, he's under 98. Well, I don't think uh, he's thinking about the 100 here. He's been out twice in the 90s. He was looking for a big one here. He wanted to get to this 100 quickly. Big wolf over the top. Some more runs there for Shoaib Malik and for Pakistan. Did he throw the kitchen sink at this? He could have hit it any harder. He's on 98. Beautiful shot, that'll be it. That'll be his 100. By Julia Dag will be proud. What a shot to get his 100. And the whole 
crowd on their feet. Well deserved 100. Played beautifully. Took Pakistan out of some trouble. And look at the dressing room. They all know he's been into the 90s. This is the third time. Got his 100. Well played, Sir Mali. The second 100 against India. Runs again. But the point is for, for Pakistan, you just can't rely on a on hundred. He's got to make at least 130 or 140. He's got to finish it off. He's still got a lot of responsibility to go. Here it is here. Beautiful shot, wasn't it? He knew it was four. He hit it right in the middle. And that's one of the greatest feelings in your life. He's gone through a harrowing time lately, him and his family. And oh, by gee, I know. I'll be all proud of you. Well done. And all of Pakistan as well. It's all mark of a good player, isn't it? And heaps of trouble. And just keep coming out and making good runs. And he may be the future number three. He'll make a permanent spot of that position there. He's got the shots. He's got the power going. He's got the defence. This is the, the six on ultra motion here. Sorry, it's a four there. What about four more? Abdul Razak joins the show. In the over 30 from it, 228 for six. Sachin Tendulkar's done a, a great job with these little nuffy little slow mediums, but his bowls it straight. He's hard to get away. Hits it over the top. It might go for four. It's an Indian fieldman. Stops it. Ryan out there. Fielding's been uh, pretty good from the Indians. In the circle, outside the circle. They have really worked hard on that. They were really poor in the last match we've seen. And uh, look at this for a fielding. Only one. What's the total you think is fair from here? 40 deliveries to go. Well, Pakistan will be happy to get somewhere around 280, 275, 280. They'll be happy with that. But I tell you that if they, them two stays there, 300 is not out of uh, the reach. But the way they're playing, there's always a chance of picking up a wicket. This man, Abdul Razak, is a very dangerous man when it comes to the last couple of overs. Pakistan will be looking that he will stay there. Oh, good shot there. Should be two at least. Oh, what about four? Oh, I can't believe how hard he hit that. He is such a good hitter at this part of the game. No boundary is safe. Well, that was not far at all from the mid-off fielder he was on the boundary and look at the power he gave everything behind that a little bit of room and look at that bang no chance there for the fielder what about the follow-through he hit his back with his bat oh, it's a little thing he's not tall enough Sachin only five foot six couldn't stop that but what have they got to do it, particularly with Sachin not so much look to hit wide of McWicket, look to hit him down the ground, mid off and mid on are quite wide and there's lots of runs straight if they can hit him down the ground, this will be his last delivery, he's done a good job one more one bolt Sachin, ends the over at 9 from it, 237 for 6 if and Patan He's got two overs left. One down the ground. Okay, now. Where can they hit fours? They're looking for fours and sixes at every opportunity now. Well, they're definitely going to swing the bat, that's for sure. For the Indians, 
if they don't pick up a wicket here now, I bet Pakistan will go to 300. Because these two, one on uh, 108, and Razak, the real danger man. I think Pak India needs to get him out. Well, as you know, I'm not a betting man, but... Now we've got some interesting fields coming up. No doubt they've spoken about this. They brought the third man up into the ring, and now they push the final leg back, so... They've got a ball of full at leg start, surely. Down the ground for one. You just can't give any width outside off stump because the batsman will just run it down a third man for four. So the batsmen are always thinking of hitting boundaries here. Now, as you can see, the third man now has gone back. He's got he's gone back down to there now. And, and now the fine legs come up. There he is there, he's up in the ring. So looking hit down the ground again. There they are. It's, it's in the air, should be caught, should be caught, and it is. Skipper takes a catch, Rahul Dravid. They get the important wicket. Shah Malik's out. And Pakistan have lost their sixth wicket. A very much needed wicket here for the Indians. Another beautifully bold, slow delivery from Irfan Patan. Checked him, giving himself room. Looking to hit for a big one, looking for a six there. And an easy catch. Well judged catch. It was up in the air for a long time. Rahul Dravid must have been a happy man. Important wicket gone. Shwe Malik uh, got the first hundred in this, of this uh, series. 108 gone. 244 for seven. That's a stinker, absolute stinker. I don't know what he was doing here. He maybe thought he was going to back away. At this stage of the game, you've, you've got to change up the deliveries, but you've got to be so straight. You can't afford to give these ones away. Here's a straight bat here, down the ground. Look how straight and vertical and perpendicular that bat is. That's our Darfish version of it. The only way to hit it down the ground and hit it consistently is with the straight bat. Bold again, see, two, a dot ball, a wide and a dot ball. That builds up pressure on Abdul Razak. He's trying to get down there. And Navet is upset with himself, not being able to get himself on strike. Definitely an improved captaincy here for, from Rahul Dravid. He's moved his four fielders in the circle very close to the bat. They don't want to give any single to run on Navid. They don't want to face uh, Abdul Razak. And they'll get a single there. Now, the field will change everywhere one feels here. Well, again, six and over from here. It's 270, but I've got a feeling on this pitch is not enough. They need 280. They need 280. Now, the third man again. This is a new thinking from the, the modern day players here. They had a bolt to death. No one ever would have thought to bring the third, third man up in this situation, but they have. Mid on and mid off the back. Inside edge. You might go for four, and it is. Lux of fortune. The great thing about as a batsman, you know exactly where he's going to bowl here. Just got to invent something. Well, I'm not a really great fan of a third man coming in. Because once you've got third man in, your line of bowling is very predictable. Over the top of mid-off. It won't go for four, I feel. I'll get two. Bowling length is going to be dangerous right now. You've got to be in the block hole or look for a change of a pace. Anything length will be punished. 
especially when you're bowling to Abdul Razak. It might be out. Oh, he let it bounce. Wow. I don't know. It was one of those ones where you go for it or not. He mightn't have picked it up as quickly as he liked RP Singh down there. I'm giving the benefit of the doubt. Well, you might think that I'm a little harsh, but this should have been caught. He waited. He stood there for a long time. He should have been easily caught. Geez, you're a harsh man. I thought that was over. Well, 50 50. Did he get all of it? One bounce. Oh, good piece of feeling. They want the ball, the Indians. You could feel it. They've looked pretty good in the field at times, except for some drop catches, but they feel well for 15 overs and, and then they lose it for five or six and they go back. So it might be a concentration thing that they've got to work on, but oh, these are the games that you need. If you want to win World Cups, tough, hard matches, you need to put them in your Belfry experience. Again, good ball. Two is the call. And no, uh, Zach what never wanted to there. He said, give me the strike. My job is hit the hit fours and sixes. Walk down, he's saying, look, listen, come on. Just relax. Well, Dino, I don't think he even looked at him. Look at that. He's not interested. He doesn't want the second one. He wants to face the last couple of deliveries. He's the senior partner there. Bowling's been good. Very impressive by, very impressed by this youngster, Sri San. He bowled extremely well. To start of the inning, he should have got three wickets. That's not good. No, people look in the record books in three, four years from time, and they'll say Sri San oh, didn't do too much at all. It's been expensive. He's gone for 59 runs up to now, no wickets. But I tell you what, he's bowled a lot better than that. He really has. And now he's getting lined up by. A shark. Abdul Razak, he likes to go after and eat anything at the moment. And did he get all of it? Did he get all of it? No. One bounce. Four more. Nine from the over. 264 for seven. Two overs to go. Oh, what about hit it over there for a big wall? Yes, it is. That's the six up. It's hit the rope, Elik on the four, the rope is the six, the second six for the innings. Well, you have no chance at Fan Patan if you bowl there and you got fine leg and third man in, it's very predictable. And when this man hits, it stays hit, I tell you. What a hit. Plenty of power. Oh, he's dodged a bullet there, Patan. Just slowed it up, bowled it outside off stump. Two seven one for seven. They're getting close to that two eighty target. An outside edge. Oh, that'll make you pull your hair out if you're Rahul Dravid. Might go for four here. Swing and a miss. Good bowling. Oh, you've got to be a tough guy to bowl at the death here. You've got to have a big heart. Sometimes you go the distance. Like Murley did it the other day, number for 99 off his 10 overs. It's oh, either you get whacked or you get them. It's one of those capers, isn't it, mate? <laughs> yes. This is a dangerous line. I don't like it. I don't. I wouldn't be bowling there. There it is again. Going, going, go. 50 up to result. Well, if you think this is going to stay in, you're joking. You're kidding me. What a 50. And they're running. They have to run. And it's... He had to run. I don't know what he was staying for. He had to get Razak on strike. But great piece of work by RP Singh. Throws the stumps down from side on. Greg Chap will be wrapped in I don't think Pakistan will mind that. What a great piece of fielding there. Look at that. One stump to aim and bang. Another wicket down. 
That's the eighth one gone. You always feel good when you hit one stump. Rana Naveed goes for seven. Pakistan 277 for eight. Now, Yasser Arafat is on strike. He's got to give the, the strike one feels to Razak. Get one or three if he can. It's best of six. He'd like to beat that today. Two seventy eight for eight. Yeah. Good piece of work hitting the stump side on. The bouncer and very well bowled. Oh, he's not. Well, there's a talk between him and Simon Taufel there to get the, the line of it. And Simon Taufel said, no, that is too high. Well, it'll be interesting to see from the side on. Because uh, Yasser Rafat is not a very tall guy. Well, a good decision. I thought it was uh, clearly going over the head of Yasser Rafat. Good decision. Yeah, they work in partnerships, the umpires. No, I've got no hassle with that. Four balls to go. Gets bat on it. Good batting. Razak just wants one. Don't even think about running two. Well, technically they could finish off with 298 from here. Three sixes. Big pressure on the young kid here. You're over ambitious, aren't you, Dino? Pakistan will be happy with two. Two six will do. I think be happy with one. Oh. Four. Inside out. Over cover. Viv Richards like. Looking for an attempting joker. Couldn't get it right. And when Abdul Razak gets it right, it clears the boundary. What a shot. On one knee. One of the hardest shots in the book to play. He's good on both sides of the ground. A lot of pressure on this young kid. Sri Saf. Slow ball, double base hit. He has to run two no matter what, Arafat. Must run, he must run, and he makes it down. They threw the wrong end. They're going to go to the third umpire. There had to be a sacrificial run out there to keep Razak on strike. Picks the ball up. You've read through to the wrong end. If you look there, there's no one there at the bowler's end. It's going to be close here, and he makes it. Well, Little sacrificial plays like that, you have to keep Razak on strike, and he has to do it again. No matter what, they must try to get to with this last ball. Well, a very good thinking by young Yasser Arafat, who kept Abdul Razak facing the last delivery of this uh, first inning. They didn't. Oh, and he's in a bit of trouble too. You've raged down there, but that'll complete the, the innings here. 11 off the last over. He's caught one in the midriff there, and he's not happy, but it's 288 for eight. He's away, Sachin Tendulka with a cracking cut shot. Five without a wicket, India. With and four. He's in good touch, Sachin Tendulkar. Beware, Pakistan. Pull the wagon wheel out. You'll see those two red lines. One behind square on the offside, one in front. This is asking for trouble. And providing the width to free his arm, Tendulkar's in good touch. Does it extremely well. down the leg side 
got to be extremely disciplined with your uh, direction and how you want to make it happen for Pakistan. Because once this uh, new ball gets old, there will not be a lot of life left for the bowlers really to extract uh, wickets out of this track. This is good thinking from Sachin Tendulkar. He's so well aware of what is happening in Gotham Gambia's mind. He's looking to take maximum strike, looking to take charge of the innings early on. Need to bat well together. He needs to help his partner out, Tendulkar. And India requires him to bat for long periods. Closing the face of the blade, Sachin Tendulkar. 12 without a wicket. Oh, pulled him. Round his legs. Well, Gautam Gambhir uh, was struggling. Definitely struggling. And in the end, Mohamed Asif gets just reward for getting it right. He's a sensation in this part of the world. Mohamed Asif. Has this fantastic ability of picking up wickets early. And Gautam Dambir again getting a little too across on his front leg, just clipping the thigh pad and going on to the stumps. Bundle of joy is this man. He's provided the much needed breakthrough. Gambhir 1 for 2, India 12 for 1. India feel that uh, they need a pinch hitter out there to get to that target and disrupt Pakistan's emergence in this game they picked up a wicket and wicket or wickets are going to be crucial in the end 12 for one oh he's getting definitely he's getting some swing the indian new ball bowlers got the ball to swing and there was a hint of swing in this dismissal as well laying down the wrong line be extremely disappointed with the mode of dismissal. Poor footwork right from the start. And also not great balance. He was falling over and the ball hit his thigh and went on to shatter the stumps. There you see that front leg missing the line of the ball. Oh, that's a quick one now. Is that taken? Is that taken? Yes, it has. Mohamed Asif strikes again and he has energized the Qadhafi Stadium crowd here. What a delivery. Quick and on target. You can't blame Patan. It was too good a delivery to survive. When you're just in, good thinking. Surprised the batsman with the short delivery. The batsman couldn't get out of the way. Patan was the man. Great catch again by Kamran Akmal. He is a terrific young fast bowler moment, Asif, and he's proving it yet again today here at the Gaddafi Stadium. India 12 for 2. Raul Dravid is taking guard. He's a classic, Raul Dravid. With and for. Release of pressure. This is what the Indians want. Third boundary for Tendulkar and all of them in the same area. Short and wide. Bread and butter for any good batsman. Short ball. Sachin Tendulkar heard the call early, in position early. And that's his fourth boundary. A rare loose delivery from Mohamed Asif. First time he's pitched it short. Tendulkar didn't make very good contact. Once again, the bat turning in his hand. That's a good shot. 
That's not where you want the bowling to Rahul drop it. Stay off those legs. A little fuller. And a touch on uh, Rahul Dravid's legs. Rahul Dravid is good when even if it's uh, on the middle pitch, middle middle stump, but this was uh, down on the leg stump. Picked it up beautifully. Nice. His eyes lit up when he saw that approaching leg stump. That's a better line. That's where you want to be. It's 38 for two. Down to third man, over his head. I think Sachin Tendulkar's heart was getting close to being in his mouth. It was definitely catchable. I think uh, Mohammad Asif just took it a touch easy. Big swing of the bat, outrage. Well, he didn't really gather. I don't think he picked up the ball that quickly. And it was pretty quick before he got up. It was definitely catchable, but uh, gone for six. That was a close call. He's a tall man, Mohamed Asif. Perhaps if he had been able to get a bit closer to the boundary, back pedal a bit more, he would have been able to take the catch. a little short bit of a room there given everything to it out reach. I think the timing was not right the catch timing and he thought catch it catch it no didn't like it well such and did little bit of a swing for Rana Naveed, swings away. Four boundaries in that 31. Sanchez Tendulkar, but the important thing is he's still there. And if he stays there, India will have no problem. give him any width that's a very easy boundary of the very last delivery of the over it's 57 for two pull shot no ball and it'll go for four so five there No ball, good shot, good response by the skipper. What a terrible thing to do, the last ball of the over. You just managed to beat the bat, almost get him out. Why would you want to try so much on the last yeah. ball of the over? Short, easy pickings and a no ball as well. So five runs conceded and a ball to bowl. Well, what happened there? Was there a bit of a snick? Off the pad. A definite deviation there, do you know? Down the leg side. I think he may have hit it. And he's... Let's see. Well, yes, off the bat. Certainly off the bat. We went up, goal went up. He thought he had his man. Just take a look. There it is, off the bat. And did it carry? Yes, it did. Just about. So, bit of fortune for Tendulkar. And cop that. Don't drop me or I'll belt you. Yes, indeed. Nothing fortunate about that one, though. Got away with it, Sachin Tendulkar, but is riding his luck. He's come very close, but this is rather authoritative shot. Short, into position very quickly, and he just pulled it past square leg there wasn't a square leg in fact four more I can't help thinking that catch down leg side he should have got that or in a, a player this level he should have got it 
first ball after drinks amazing how many times the batsman get out the first over after a break but he should have got that that one down leg side he made all the ground he got two hands to it it was dipping and falling but it wasn't if it was moving away to his left it, the major concern for Cameron Akmal was he worried about whether or not it was going to bounce in front of him it's definitely is there's no doubt about that now he's made all the ground and it's just dipped on him oh is that the turning point of this match oh, normally they strangle them those the wicket keepers they love them they really do and I, I can still feel his disappointment in the background hands on hips Cameron Akmal and he knows This is a big, big reprieve. Take another look. It carried. Oh, most definitely so. In fact, it probably hit the palm of the left hand pretty hard. Came to him pretty quickly and, uh, yeah, nearly put the hat on the ball. Again, the ball swinging. You notice there's not no big drives at all. He's <laughs> actually a bit of fun. Oh, he's been in this position countless times. He knows what he has to do. Well, he certainly does. This is a real, real big innings for Sachin Tendulkar in India. Run rate of 6.5. He's had the bulk of the strike, so he's well set. What he's got to do is buckle down and play through, right through. Let the youngsters to follow play alongside him. Magnificent. What an elbow. What a straight shot. How good is that? End of the over. 71 for two. Again, runs it down. And that'll be his 72nd one day international 50. Beautiful knock. Tremendous. Under the circumstances, tough beginning for India ball moving Pakistan on top two quick wickets Sachin Tendulkar has had a little bit of luck though mind you but he's still there and that's what's important and 72nd is it and 3900 so mind you his conversion rate is better than one in three so less than one in three times he goes on to convert that 50 into a hundred this is the time for him again so much cricket don't know I can remember him as a as a kid when he first played against the Australians back in 1990 91 series there and there it is there it goes to show the balls have been swinging and they've used the ball there to, to whip the ball through points and through a lot of hook shots and there was one that six where he hit it down to a Muhammad Asif and he palmed it over the top of the ropes one feels but it's been a very good knock that doesn't tell you the graph and how well he's left the ball go and LB4 more to Raul Dravid. 10 Dilka show. Well, I can't help but get the feeling that Pakistan are missing a trick here. They started off well, perfect lengths. But all of a sudden, these bowling changes have come on. And like the batsmen, I think the bowlers are also under some pressure. And they also need to find the right lengths very quickly. Now, this young man playing his first game in this series. That was just too easy for the likes of Rahul Dravid, just waiting for deliveries like that. Another single chance for a run out. If he hits, he's in mortal trouble. He might be in trouble. Direct hit for going to the third umpire. Umar Gold. I think he knows he's gone. He's He's worked the two of the left side, and again, he, he's thrown down the stunts. Let's have a look. He hits. Is he in frame? He's gone. A big wicket there for Pakistan. This game is in the balance. Well, suddenly, Pakistan are back with a bang. Just what they required. Very cross for himself, Rahul Dravid, as he should be. His call misjudged it completely. Just didn't have the power in his legs to reach him to the other end. 22 to Dravid. It's now 84 for three. Yeah, Brad Sid comes to the crease and he is in red off form at the moment. A good strike rate.
So India now need to rebuild a partnership. Well, that's effortlessly played. It is such a glorious timer of the ball. It's 94 for three. With and he's played it in the gap. Abdul Razak is trying his best really to control that ball within the playing field. I think that is a boundary. Even though he tried hard, but well, they're not going to refer it to the third umpire, so no, I think they are. It's just fine that Razak did extremely well. It was a long chase. Oh, that really is a cracking shot. Jio Raj Singh is looking absolutely sublime. He's played a couple of lovely, elegant drives. As a batsman, this is the best feeling you'll have. One of the more difficult shots to play. And he plays it with amazing ease. Great execution, presenting the full face of the bat. Again, a punchy dry well, nobody moved. Wow, that really is something special from Yograd Singh. High back lift, once again, elegantly, elegantly executing that drive. Absolutely fantastic. Yograd Singh is running into very good form in this innings, just at a time when his side needs it very badly. Moved quickly onto 20. Salman Burke will be there to cover that shot from Yovrat Singh, but he's uh, motoring along at some pace. Rana Naveed is wicketless in his sixth over, but he came very close of picking up Yovrat Singh. <laughs> lost his balance and almost got there it was a difficult take because he had to change his angle And this was uh, the opportunity. Just get the feeling that was a no ball to start with from Rana Navid, not given by the umpire. Difficult to get down in time. The momentum that you generate with the run up made a good effort though. In the gap. Didn't hit it hard. Sachin Tendulkar was looking for placement. Salman Bhatt, desperate effort. Once again, Asad Rauf will uh, have it confirmed from the third umpire whether it was a clean stop or not. But surely was a clean strike. Could be tight. He's played it fine, Sachin Tendulkar. I think it probably brushed the gloves of the keeper as well, but... That boundary brings a lot of joy to the Indian supporters. It was the second last, last ball as well, so India would be pretty happy with this effort from Sachin. This man is batting so well. He's timing his strokes so well. Magnificent. Yuvraj Singh is playing superbly. Uninhibited. Very fluent indeed. High elbow. And comes hard down on it. A slow ball also. Just did perfectly. 
high back lift comes down hard on it and really times them well wrong line should cut that off Abdul Razak down there that is another dangerous thing there he brushed the rope when he was handling that ball that will be referred again yes when you when you sort of slide and try and get your body behind the ball you run the risk of hitting the rope when you're so close to it now let's take a look whether he managed it or not there he is he's sliding he's touching the rope and that's four he would have been better served had he just put a foot behind it or even tried to stop it on the run with his hand that is the problem when you're so close to that rope you're going to slide into it certainly four that's the simplest of the three that we have seen signal four by umpire Simon Toffel Off pushed back to long off, so a very comfortable single available there. Well, that's the big over for India. 11 off the first five deliveries, doing it beautifully. These two just the singles whenever possible, and then a couple of boundaries in the middles to get the scoring rate back in order. It's now back to 6.5 and over they require. Confusion. There was a big no from Yuvraj. It's 145 for three. Not the best of shots, but he'll get four for it. And here are Shiva and Dean Jones. And a great 50 it is. Thank you, Mikey. It's his 22nd. 50 in one day international cricket and what a knock it's been the timing it, it just looks simple the way he's gone about it he hasn't been flustered it's almost a straight pull there to get away with it he had he's had all the timing in the world his timing today has been the best of any batsman as far as i'm concerned a big wicket for Pakistan and suddenly the crowd erupts the Pakistan team in a huddle this man again Abdul Razak picking up Tendulkar at a very critical time he sliced it Tendulkar and trying to hit it too hard low catch to Imran Farhat the substitute fielder and isn't he a bundle of joy he realizes the importance of this wicket Tendulkar had played extremely well for his 95, takes the long walk back. He'd be a disappointed man. It's 189 for four. So that was plump, as plump as you can get. Clipping the bales. It's a very, very good decision by Asadrov. Took his time. Decided, yes, it was going to clip the top of Oxford. Difficult one to give, but he does an extremely good job, the umpire. Okay, have gone for zero. India 190 for five. That's up in the air. That's clear in Zaman Mulhak with a lot of these. On the bounce into the boarding holes, and Dhoni is not going to stop himself from playing his natural game. It was a solid stroke. And what a hit under pressure. Over the top of Midoff. 
not really full just on the up just got under it excellent hit slow one has been put away once again in the gap Dhoni is on fire the attempted slow one well the idea was right but the execution was below par I think he picked it up a touch late. Beautiful slow delivery. There you go. Just got the line right. Right over mid-off once again. He was ready for it. Once again, what a hit. Enzama Mulak reacting late. He's got one now back on the ropes in that direction of long off. But the damage has already been done. That uh, runs per over now squeezed to 6.66. I think Inzama Mulhaq uh, decided to bring uh, Abdul Razak a touch late. He should have brought a lot earlier when Sachin Tendulkar came at the crease. I think uh, Sachin Tendulkar always struggle against him. If you go back in the history, Abdul Razak got him out a few times. Got him a couple of times, LBWs, bold. Got him again in this game. Calm and composed is Yuvraj Singh. And how well he's played his hand in this chase. 54 from 62 balls. He's taken the responsibility over Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin Tendulkar's dismissal did jolt India quite badly, but this is another good partnership now. Working well for India. 29 of 31 balls. Jovraj Singh has given the risk responsibility to Mahindra Dhoni, who's a natural stroke player. No doubt uh, Jovraj Singh played some extremely good shot in his inning. His inning of 55, he's just calmed himself down a little bit. The situation required this sort of inning. They want Jovraj Singh to stay till the end. He's running hard and he'll get back for the second. Now, this is excellent cricket from India. Dhoni knew exactly how far the fielder was. 12 off the over, 2-2-2 two, two, two for 5. Well, that's gone through. Yasser Arafat feeling the pressure. Feeling the pressure, he's probably run under week now. Well, no doubt a poor fielding there by youngster Yasser Arafat there in the boundary. But even worse, bad delivery, short delivery, and uh, made a mess of it there, Yasser Arafat. Well, in this sort of tense situations, you got to be extra careful. You got to put your body behind the ball. Slow one. Picks it up, Dhoni. It's the momentum with which Dhoni has gone that would be troubling Pakistan. He's looked completely at ease in command of things. And because of this, because of him, the run rate has dropped down. That means that Yograj Singh really has got to play normal cricket. Not venture into something exciting. Just tag along, Dhoni. And India will be home. Runs for India. Didn't look elegant on that occasion, Joe Rat Singh. Probably the first inelegant stroke from him. Once again, a run and Navid short outside the off stump. Given uh, room to Yovraj Singh. Ran Navi should feel lucky that it didn't go for boundary. Got a little touch, Kamran Akmal there. Still hasn't really found the line yet. He's good with the old ball. I've seen him uh, in the first test, in the first one day. Wide and four. What a vital boundary for India.
Rada Naveed is definitely struggling. He's not been in good rhythm. I don't know what exactly Rana Naveed is trying to do there. Well, that's crashed. That ball will whistle away for a four. Dhoni is ruling the roost. India's 250 has been posted. They are now within touching distance. A pure half fully. Look at the shot. Plenty of power behind it. Big heavy bat just been thrown on that ball. Although mid off, it was in the reach, but that ball was traveling. Fifth 50. Hardly taking any balls. Shot one. It's been put away for another four. Dhoni's gone to 50 with a big broad smile on his face he's got every reason to smile he's got the smile back on the Indian supporters here what a knock well the good thing about his knock is he's just comes in in 35 deliveries didn't take any time another poor delivery by Rana Naveed pulled it and rolled his wrist over well played. Well deserved 50. Short one's been uh, dealt with severely once again through square leg. Three consecutive fours. And the writing is pretty much on the wall for Pakistan. I'm not really sure what uh, exactly Rana Naveed is trying to do, but I know what Dhoni is trying to do. Beautiful shot. Although the field is back there, picked up the gap nicely. Plenty of worries there for Nzamam al -Haq. I don't know what exactly he's trying to do. Pakistan looking for a wicket there. Another shot one, another pull shot from Dhoni. The ball collides with Salman, but it was hit with a lot of power. Rana Naveed is making sure that the game should finish early. Nine boundaries uh, in his 56. A matter of time now. 27 required. Two sixty-three for five, India. In the gap and four. Nothing can stop Mahinder Singh Dhoni. He's unstoppable. Extremely good shot. On the back foot. In the gap. Just a last second shot. Dhoni's wagon wheel. Early on he played mainly on the offside, but later on when the short deliveries came, he started pulling and look at that. Onside. Plenty of runs. Doesn't always uh, look elegant, Mahinder Singh Dhoni, but he surely is a match winner for India. And this really has been such an important innings, he's played such an important role. Because when he came in, the required per over was around seven. And from five from 190, we've got 268 for five. It really has been massive, massive knock and partnership. Well, Pakistani bowling has been really exposed in the last three matches. First match, Pakistan conceded 300 plus runs. Last match was easy win for the Indians, chasing 
only lost uh, three wickets. In the gap, another four. In Zamamula could only be a spectator to that drive. And it really has been a Dhoni show. 64 from 42 balls. And Yovrat Singh has played a most sensible knock. He was aggressive when the situation demanded, and now he's composed when uh, the situation demands him to be. To take you till the end, Arun Lal and Michael Holden. Thank you, Ramis. The way Mahendra Singh Dhoni's batting might not be very long for the end. And they are leaving. The Pakistani supporters don't think any Indians are going to leave here at the moment. Yes, they've been treated to their money's worth. This game was perfectly poised at 5 for 190. And now it's a round. 65 balls it took to turn it around this game. They got 85, these two. It's the match summary so far. You need 14 runs of 28 balls, just three runs and over. Well, Ramiz was saying that you batted sensibly. He certainly has shown common sense with and this application in this innings. Initially, he went out there, played his natural game, and Tendulka stroking the ball around, looking beautifully at the, looking so beautiful at the crease. Then Dhoni came in and started to smash it, and he decided, no need for me to be smashing, no need for me to be hitting boundaries. I'll just push around. He has given Dhoni most of the strike, and Dhoni has prospered. Yes, there was only one man taking risks, and that's essential, but the set batsman then has to take the, the onus on himself and take it through, but Dhoni has been spectacular. What a time to come up with an innings like that. And this is the new Indian team I see. They come out attacking when cornered. And more often than not, they're doing a good job of it. Really no need to do anything. Yuvraj can hang in there. You've done all the good work. It doesn't matter if one over pegs you back. It's still only 3.36 runs and over. He got 82 not out in the previous game. He can well have another not out inning today. And carry the confidence forward into game number four. Lofted. It's fall short and it evades the field as well. It will go a long way towards the boundary. Won't quite make it. But three runs. 278 for five. Mohamed Asif continues from the college end. Edged and wide of the wicketkeeper. When things are going for you, that's what happens. Just enough bat on it to get it wide of the wicketkeeper. You could argue that they needed a slip at this stage. They just need two runs and overs, they're not going to defend it if it goes 50 overs. So why wouldn't you have a couple of slips and that's a genuine edge. The outside edge, eluding the hands of Kamran Akmal. That would have been regulation for slip number one. But Pakistan, it seems, have given up. They've been pulverized into submission by Dhoni. Yes, Dhoni has definitely taken this game away from Pakistan. Yuvraj Singh has batted well. Can't take anything away from Yuvraj Singh. This has been a fantastic knock by him. But Dhoni has just bludgeoned them to death. Mahendra Singh Dhoni has scored 1,000 one-day international runs of just 955 deliveries. Now that is some doing. Not a bad average either, averaging over 40 runs in his innings. We have a lot of batsmen that can go out there and score at well better than a runner ball. But can they still at the crease a fair time? 
that is the thing has a best of 183 and he doesn't open the batting and he got 183 in one innings Yes, and there's been a lot of flexibility in the batting orders of this Indian team. Dhoni has played at three, Dhoni has played at four, he's now come in at seven. And every time he's played, you know, a meaningful role in this scheme of things. So he's really, really an important cog in this Indian wheel. just be a single bring Dhoni back on strike just one deliver left in this over though he won't mind that Dhoni he won't be looking for a dot ball if it's anywhere close to an area that he thinks he can hit it he will try mid off and mid on are in the circle should he have the opportunity he's going to go for the straight you see that's something about him is he tends to play very straight that's why the consistency is almost averaging 50. Six to win, Aaron. Six to win. Is he thinking about it? Not quite. But he will get four. Just another couple of runs needed. It's 287 for five. Just a single scores level leg buys I suspect it is a leg by leg by ties the scores and the entire Indian squad management reserves physiotherapist everyone out on the balcony and they're all smiling they know the result That's a happy man in your screen there. He was very, very cross with himself when he was run out. He had given an in into Pakistan at that stage after having done all the hard work. Mind you, Pakistan were bowling very well with the new ball. But all's well that ends well as far as the Indians are concerned. Himself and Sachin Tendulkar went through a horrid time. The ball was moving around. They were playing and missing, but they stuck it out. They really stuck it out, saw off the new ball, and as things got a bit easier, of course, their team flourished. There's nothing to be ashamed about, Raul Dravid, just a slight misjudgment with that run. Overestimated his speed. He's got hold of it, Doni, and that's it. It's all over. Ends it with a boundary. India's 11th successful chase in a row they have won by five wickets India well another command performance by India lots to think about for Inzamam ul -Haq. right from the toss India apart from those drop catches have really played well here Pakistan looked like springing a surprise with the new ball when they started with Muhammad Asif and Omar Gul, but it wasn't to be. But these two, 102 of just 79 balls, this partnership really just took it away. And Mahindra Singh Dhoni, well, he can smile as he should. Well played, yeah. Fantastic partnership between the two gentlemen, Yuvraj Singh and Mahindra Singh Dhoni. As I said, take absolutely nothing away from Yuvraj Singh, although he didn't really score a lot of runs in the latter stages of this inning but he knew what was required of him he knew with Dhoni batting the way that he was batting it was not necessary for him to be scoring rapidly and they brought it home with overs to spare